Hey everybody, we're going to talk about three really simple ways to promote your pod podcast so that you can go from zero to as many subscribers as you're looking to achieve. Or if you already have subscribers, this is a great way to get even more subscribers to your podcast. So let's get into this video right now. Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon Brashears. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Today we're going to be talking all about podcasts. Now, my name is Brandon, as I mentioned, and I am a podcaster. I started doing podcasting about four and a half years ago. Actually, it's coming up on five now, and podcasting has been amazing for my business. I've been able to use my podcast to get speaking engagements, to get tons of clients, to get influence in the industry that I'm in and looking to grow. And so if you are thinking about starting a podcast, I can't recommend it enough. Now, when I started four and a half years ago, it was very... Uh, different than it is today. There are so many more podcasts and there's more coming out every single day. And now with uh, apps like Anchor and other other different platforms that make it really, really simple to distribute your podcast, like SoundCloud, um, it's a lot easier and the barriers to entry are really removed. So that being said, it's a lot more difficult to build out an audience and get shown just organically. And so I think that it's important you're doing more things to actively attract listeners to your podcast. So there's a few things that I think are going to be really, really beneficial for you in attracting new listeners. So the first tip that I have for you to attracting new listeners to your podcast is getting on other podcasts as guests. So having um, been in podcasting for a while, if you want to attract somebody that already has an audience and try and get on their podcast, you're going to have to really provide a lot of value. So that is... Um, a great way though to tap into an audience that's already existing so i think a lot of times if you know it depends a lot on the um, specific podcast genre that you're in and the niche that you're trying to break into but if you can offer a huge value to the audience um it's definitely of benefit now i'm going to say this though i get people asking all the time hey can i go on your podcast i'm like well what do you want to talk about you know it's kind of awkward um unless you have a reason for wanting to go on. So if you're trying to get on somebody else's podcast, number one, have a reason, have a topic that you're going to talk about. And before you ask to get on the podcast, I would say start a relationship with that person. It's so much easier to ask once you have a relationship. And it's just kind of annoying that people send out messages all the time and they're like, hey, can I be on your podcast? I want to talk about digital marketing for my agency. I do agency work for veterinarians, right? So a little bit of backstory. My podcast is in the veterinary industry and I do digital marketing podcast. And so um, I get people all the time that are agency owners and they just want to talk about how they do AdWords service, right? So it's like you're not really adding that much value if you take a look and see I already have episodes on AdWords. Like that's not really anything that needs to be added to, right? But I have people that I have on as guests all the time because they offer value and it's something that's going to be beneficial, especially if they've asked after establishing a relationship, it's way easier for them to get on the podcast now. And it's a great way for them to expand their brand and grow in a podcast that's already established. So that's that's one thing. And it's a lot easier to get on to other podcasts if you have a podcast and you've been doing it for a while. The second thing that I think is really good is if you bring people on as guests. So um, when I started my podcast, I was just, I didn't have any contacts in the industry that I was starting in. I had zero influence and I was starting from zero, 100% from scratch. And I didn't have money to put behind ads or anything. So I wanted to grow it organically. Now, when I started it, I decided I was going to bring on people as guests. And this is actually a lot easier than asking to get on other podcasts, especially because when I started, I didn't have any track record. People didn't know who I was. And frankly, I wasn't qualified to be on a guest on most of the veterinary podcasts that were out there. And so as a result, I said, okay, I'm going to get other people on my podcast. And so I started out by interviewing people that were already established in the industry. I kind of started out with people that were just a step up above me as far as influence and then a step up from there, asking for referrals and step up from there. And ultimately, I was able to get some of the biggest names in the industry on the podcast, which is really, really cool. So it's super flattering to say, hey, I and make sure you do some research and, and homework before you get started with this, but say, you know, hey, I really like the work that you do in this, this and this. And I was wondering, would you be on my podcast? It makes it a lot easier to get on the podcast, too, if you are um, 
also like engaging with their content and you're actually a fan of their content instead of just saying that you are. So if you follow somebody for a while and you are commenting on their content constantly, not constantly, but you know, every once in a while, so that they go back and they'll say, hey, I know this guy, sure, I'd love to talk to him. And so there's some reciprocity, right? If you're a member of their community, uh, it's easier to get them on your podcast. Now, depending on kind of what your podcast is about, you may not want to go that route. So like if you were doing a digital marketing uh, podcast, for example, and you wanted to get somebody on that's a really well-known guru or something, right? You don't necessarily want to be like uh, the fanboy that's just trying to get that big name on your podcast. You might want to say, you know, when you're commenting and engaging, you can comment like as a professional and you don't have to basically geek out and, and be a fanboy and kind of ruin it for yourself. So there's always a balance. You need to have the right strategy based on the niche and industry that you're in. And then also um, when, you're, when you're picking these people, target people that have a larger audience than you. Whenever somebody gets interviewed by someone, it just makes them feel important in general. And so typically they will share that out to their audience. Make it easy for them to share out to their audience and give them the embeddable episode so that they can embed it directly into their website, create a post out of it, create content, and it's just beneficial for them. If you want to take it a step further, if you actually go through and write a piece of content that they can use and upload on their site, maybe edit or change, if you make it really, really simple for them, it's going to be beneficial because everybody's looking for content and um, it's really important to get content out there. So the last way that I think you should use to grow your podcast right now are ads. And I know that a lot of people are kind of adverse to ads, especially for content that's awareness based. But if you're just getting started out, there's a lot of saturation in podcasting in general, depending on what your industry is and what the podcast that you're doing is, it might get hard to stand out. And so if you're targeting um, like on Facebook or Instagram, if you create an ad, you can target just very specific mobile devices. So you could just target Apple devices and um, you know only iPhones or iOS, and then send them to the iTunes store so that they can listen to the podcast. That's going to help you to get, if, if people subscribe in iTunes, that's really, really valuable because you get into their phone natively and they're spending typically a lot of time with you. I was looking at the reports on my podcast and a Apple just recently released um, some data uh, in their, their beta podcasting center. So you can actually get a little bit of data as far as listen time and things. And the average person that listens to my podcast listens for 80 minutes per month. And that's a um, tremendous amount of time. You're in their ears, you're hanging out with them. It's like you're in their head wherever they go. And that is so powerful. So I know that there's a lot of people that would like to get um, email lists and build email lists and build Facebook audiences and Instagram audiences and YouTube channels. And I totally think that those are cool. But podcasting is a, a medium that really builds a connection with people so that when they talk to you and they know you, it's like you're already friends with them. It's really interesting when I have people call me um, and we talk and we do consultations after they've listened to the podcast, they'll always be like, wow, you sound exactly like you do on the podcast. That's amazing. That's, I don't know why they say that, but they always do. And it's like, yep, it's me talking. So you're in their ear and you're in their head. What's really interesting too about podcasts is that the um, lifespan of a podcast is a really long time. And as you get new listeners and as you have more podcasts, just you have a huge like amount of volume for people to go through and binge and get to know you really, really well. So if you are in any kind of business where you would benefit from having a podcast, it's going to be helpful because you're going to be able to have a lot more time spent with the, the prospects and the clients and the people that are, are going to be potential clients for you. And it's just going to really, really shorten the sales cycle because they'll know, like, and trust you a lot quicker. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments related to podcasting, I love podcasting. I think it's probably one of the best marketing mediums out there to get your message out in front of people. Um, be sure to comment below. I'm always happy to help. If you ever uh, want me to talk about other things, also be sure to comment below. Are you doing a podcast? I would love to know what your podcast is all about. So comment with the link of your podcast and I'll check it out. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you on the next video.